Hello and welcome back to Personal Finance Made Easy. Today I'm going to provide you another third stimulus check update. And I'm going to say right off the bat, the moving day, the drop dead end date, the date this thing has to be taken care of is this Friday. And in this article, which is brought to you by CBS News, I'll link that in the description. It explains why this Friday is the date. And I'll do my best to explain it as clearly as possible. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. This past Saturday, the U.S. Senate approved the bill, uh, 50 to 49. Senator Kamala Harris did need to come down and and be the tie-breaking, tie-breaking vote. Um, that got pushed through, like I said it would, last week. It was all but done. They just need to do some back office negotiations. Now, let's talk. take a look at this real quick. The bill will return to the U.S. House of Representatives this week. And other articles that I read, it's they're going to take it up tomorrow on Tuesday. So it'll be very important for it to get taken care of, get squared away. Um, all of the backroom negotiations need to happen today and tomorrow so it can get passed because it needs to happen this weekend because that's when some of the other... Uh, benefits are going to expire. The other benefits are could po- potentially expire uh, this Friday with regards to the extra jobless c- claims that many Americans are receiving. Close that. But um, so that's why I believe that this Friday it will be done by this Friday. So my expectation is tomorrow they'll take it up and they'll argue about it for maybe a half a day. Then on let's say Wednesday or Thursday it'll get passed and approved. And then they'll rush it down the street to uh, President Joe Biden, and then he'll sign it immediately. And once they sign it, and it says in this article here, once they sign it, people can start receiving checks within a couple days. So what we're looking at potentially is people start starting to see checks deposited, direct deposited, within by by Wednesday of next week. Now, obviously, um, there's no there's nothing in the works that says Wednesday is the drop dead date, but. That's what it's looking like. I would fully expect for Tuesday, um, as I mentioned, the House of Representatives, which is the other wing of Congress, they're going to do a little bit of negotiation. Nothing ever just gets pushed through when it comes to to Congress. Uh, That goes for the Senate or the House of Representatives. So they're going to do a little bit of arguing and talking, a lot of posturing. It'll get pushed through, let's say, Wednesday, Thursday at the latest. The second it gets pushed through and they can get the, the, the ink dried, it's going to go down to President Joe Biden and then he's going to get it taken care of. And so it, like it says on here, by next weekend, a couple making less than $160,000 could well have 2800 deposited into their checking account. And like I said, I would fully expect that to happen Wednesday of next week or even Friday for that to hit. Now, obviously, if you're getting a paper check, that's going to take a little bit longer. Um, the other thing that you want to make sure that you are 100% aware and comfortable with is your adjusted gross income from 2019 versus 2020. If there's a significant difference in either way, that's going to have a huge implication on the amount of money that you could receive from the federal government if you are expecting a stimulus check. So that's going to be very important. That's something that I'll cover in just a moment. But um, in addition to the the stimulus check, which is kind of that major talking point, um, there's other provisions such as an extension of the $300 per week extra jobless aid, which I alluded to just a moment ago, uh, for unemployed people and an expansion of the child tax credit for low income households. These are all very important things that are designed to help get the economy moving and help people that are struggling. There's a lot of people out there that are struggling. They're frustrated. They're just trying to get uh, make their ends meet. As you can see, half of Americans are still experiencing financial pain. It says right there, right there, just under. And so all of these little things combined, the stimulus check, the extra provisions are designed to provide some relief and to really get the economy moving. Now, I've read some other articles about um, more on the stock side of things where they expect the economy to be up and running in full swing um, when you factor in the checks and the other provisions. In about six months from now, they're expecting the economy to be up and running and humming like a, um, a wo- well-oiled machine, uh, for the lack of a better term. But let's get back to this. Working families will get $1,400 per individual from a third stimulus check, plus they will benefit from a muscled-up child tax credit of 3000 per child. So that's pretty important as well. Uh, so if we scroll down here just a little bit, now the major important thing that, two things that I want you to take from this. One, 
check out your taxes, your adjusted gross income. If you don't know how to find it, go to the, the IRS website and poke around there and get that information because that's going to be important. Get all of your tax documents together and take a look and compare 2019 to 2020. I recommend that you make any changes, file your taxes, do any of that stuff. I would get that done ASAP if you are expecting a change one way or another when it comes to the, the stimulus payment. So let's continue on. The Senate passage of the bill Saturday was met with cheers and applause uh, because, again, 50 to 49, um, Vice President Harris did not need to come down to Capitol to break the tie. Um, the, the the Democrats do have that slight majority, and so it was going to get pushed through regardless. Um, fewer Americans will receive checks. I believe 90% of Americans will still receive a stimulus check. Um if we scroll down here just a little bit, the Senate bill directs the 1400 direct payments to individuals earning up to $75,000. And then if you earn more than $80,000 as an individual, you will get absolutely nothing. So from 75,000 to 80, it, it, it's a slippery slope. It, it goes down, decreases gradually until 80,000, and then you get absolutely nothing. For, for couples, if you you're making less than 150,000, you can expect the whole thing. And then it ends abruptly at 160,000. Now, an interesting thing that I read in a different article is that 160 cuts off regardless of if you have kids. The other interesting thing is that you can receive potentially even more money if you have kids. But the exception to that is if you make more than $160,000 as a couple, and then heads of household earning less than 112,500 will receive the full amount up until 120. Um, from 112,500 to 120, it starts to taper off. Um, and this is a cool little calculator here. And again, I'm going to link the this article in the description. You can click on this calculator and get a rough idea of about what you'll 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 receive. Um, so that's some some good news. Um, I know that. There is that 10% of Americans that are probably really frustrated because they could have benefited from that, that stimulus check as well, but they're going to miss out. So now let's take a look at the rest of this here. Democrats want the, want the bill to be signed into law before Saturday, March 14th. Again, when the current extra $300 in weekly unemployment aid is set to expire. That's why I'm saying this week is the deadline. Friday is the deadline. I know they work on Saturday, but um, you don't want that kind of that delay between, uh, let's say, Friday and, and Monday where things are kind of up in the air. So I fully expect, I have no inside information, obviously, I fully expect something to be done Wednesday or Thursday of this week. In addition to the $1,400 checks, the bill would provide funding for small businesses, schools, cities and states, and families with kids, a tax break, and boost government spending on COVID-19 testing and contract tracing. If the bill is signed into law by March 12th, so this Friday, the Friday before extra jobless aid is set to expire, stimulus checks could begin hitting bank accounts anywhere from a few days to a week following that, based on the IRS timeframe. So that's, again, that's basically one paragraph of what I've been saying. I expect that it's going to get pushed through. There's gonna be some arguing and some haggling early tomorrow, then you're going to hear some positive signs um, Tuesday afternoon. And then what do you know, it's going to get pushed through in, in my expectation, it'll be get pushed through on Wednesday, Wednesday night, they'll spend an all nighter. Uh, for those guys, it's working till like seven. Um, they'll spend an all nighter getting this pushed through, it'll get to Joe Biden Thursday, Thursday morning, and most likely he'll sign it. The only way this doesn't get pushed through is if there is this huge push by Republicans in the, the House where they have a huge problem with something. There, there's a tiny, there may be like a tiny little sentence um, where they have a problem with it. But otherwise, I fully expect this to get pushed through. Um, and then there's just some more background information. But it's important. What I think you should do, and let me preface this by saying I'm not, I'm not your tax guy. I'm not a tax guy. I'm just reading and interpret, interpreting the news. It's very important that today or tomorrow you look at your taxes. I'm not telling you to file your taxes. I'm telling you to take a hard, close look and see if you had a dramatic change in income from 2019 to 2020. Because as everything, based on everything that I'm reading, they're going to base this stimulus check on the most recent tax filing. So if you didn't file, if you didn't file 2020 yet, 
and you made, let's say, $200,000 in 2019, you're not going to get this check. But if you made $200,000 in 2019, but you only made $50,000 in 2020, you could potentially receive the full amount. So that's why this is important, and you need to get it done ASAP. Uh, at least take a look, uh, go over to the IRS website, and figure out what your adjusted gross income is, and then put it into this calculator, uh, factor in your kids and all of that good stuff. Definitely read this article for yourself because it is uh, important that you do your own research. Uh, don't just listen to a guy that's, that's talking to you on YouTube. Do a little bit of research on your own and make sure you make the best decision for you and your family. Once again, this is Personal Finance Made Easy. Uh, thanks for, for stopping by. Be sure to like, subscribe, bring the bell notification so that you're notified when I update you with new information.